All right, I'm back. This will just be a five minute recap. I'll, I'll jam them together and then put it, uh, probably make it one video. Anyway, so what we need to do is go after the white family because the white family breathes inequality into the marriage relationship. And since marriage also figures in as a political institution, it breathes inequality into our politics and sacralizes this inequality. And um, then we just, and it becomes racial really quickly. And what Focus on the Family knew is they, they knew this. They knew this. So as soon as you seed the Republicans or the conservatives, the family, and they get to decide what a family looks like, they, they don't need anything else. Because, <laughs> because now all of our politics is geared towards, like, you know, strong families and all that stuff. So what... And liberalism won't do that because liberalism dissolves the marriage unity and instead just turns two people into mercenaries with a no-fault divorce. And like, so like, that's a very unattractive picture. So liberalism will never actually combat awful conservatism like, in marriage because the liberals will deny that marriage is a thing, like is a meaningful thing, uh, that the unity, for better or for worse, and all those vows, like actually like, and um, so what you want is the unity of marriage, except you want it to be a co-determination, right? And the difference between co-determination and liberalism is in, liberal, in a liberal society, I'm still trying to get what I can for myself as an individual. I'm an independent individual. I am um, self-sufficient. This is good for a while it's good. And then when it stops being good, then like, I should be able to choose to leave. Co-determination is like, all right, we're in this together. How, do, how should we go forth? Me knowing what you want, you knowing what I want. How do we do this? How do we do this? I'm not trying to get what I can from you, and then when it goes, yep. it goes out. How do we go forth? That's co-determination. That's we decide together, right? And then how does this work out in our politics, right? Let's take schools. In uh, conservative schools, they'll just be straight segregated schools. No fuss, no muss, right? And then in the liberal schools, they'll be like school choice, which will end up, you know what? Segregated, right? So this is why the, like, liberalism doesn't have enough teeth to actually to go at conservatism. Um, uh, so instead of that, you need co-determination. All right, so now that we're in this together, in this America together, how do we decide the curriculum? Not the one that makes white people feel good, one, not one that makes black people, um, you know, uh, feel poor, but one that's actually fair for all of us. How do we go forth? Or lies to us. Well, we, 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 we like a, a curriculum that stops lying to us. We like a curriculum that stops lying, especially about white terrorism. Because uh, then it just gets people confused and black people blame themselves for that things that aren't their fault. Um, in the same way that I bet you white marriages gets white women blaming themselves for things that aren't their fault. I have a friend who's a teacher who um, had a student, had a black student um, and a white student, a white student uh, made a racial slur. The teacher absolutely went off about it, made the kid apologized. Uh, and he was talking to the black kid later, and the black kid was like, I, I feel bad because he got in trouble. Yeah, that's not my problem. And, and yeah, the, yeah, the right teacher friend was like, no, 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 no. You should feel bad because he was poorly educated. Yes. Not because he got in trouble. Right. He deserved to get in trouble. You right. did nothing to you that. Did nothing. Like, yeah, a lot of black people blaming themselves. Anyway, thank you for your time. Um, remember, we have to go out the family. We can't pretend that the fam we can be indifferent to the family and still do good work because we can't. Because that's, that's the linchpin on how conservatism, at least in the South, and not just in the South, I think all over the United States, digs in and is always relevant when it really shouldn't be because we've seeded them the family. We've let them put inequality into the family and then are surprised when it metastasizes um, into other aspects of our politics. And you can't combat that with vacuous liberalism. You need, it with, you need to combat it with substantive co-determination where it's just known that what it is to be in a relationship with someone, an intimate relationship with someone, is to figure out what they want and figure out how we go forth together as equals, how we go forth together as a we, but as an equal we, where each person is concerned with what the other person wants. And I think you'll have better sex that way too. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure... 
that like there are a lot of white guys out there who have sex as if they're the head of the household and it doesn't lead to particularly good sex. And honestly, you have a lot of women out there who have sex like they're supposed to just take it. And I don't think that's good sex for anybody. So like I'm trying to help your sex life, white people. And black people, we figured this out. This is why we probably have better sex. And um, with that piece. Oh, also, here's the deal. We're having a hard newsletter. There's a newsletter that's coming out. The Black Athenians in print. I, I closed on a machine. It's coming out next month. Look, give me the picture of Mariah Parker. Mariah Parker is a county commissioner who was elected by 13 votes in this district, the district that I shoot the show at. She was elected by 13 votes. Weeks before the, um, she also swore her oath of office on an autobiography of Malcolm X. She's all about black life. She's trying to like get black people some money and like get us a fair share of Athens GDP, all the things I want for my community because my you know daughter might end up dating one of these cats and I want their parents to have a good job. Like all these, all there's a community thing. So um, Mariah Parker won by 13 votes. I endorsed Mariah Parker on this show. So it's not like this show is what got Mariah Parker elected. But it's possible that without this show, Mariah Parker is not a county commissioner. If you like what I'm doing and you want me to endorse more people, and I gave good arguments for that, and if you want me to endorse more people like Mariah Parker and try to develop and give these kind of arguments, I need you to go to thefunkyacademic.com because I still don't quite break even on this show. It costs me a little bit of money to give the kind of news that the people need. Um, and, and I'm not particularly excited about trying to... Uh, uh, lose money on the on the print copy too. So uh, go to thefunkyacademic.com. I'll tell you more about the print newsletter next show and why it's important just for black people to have their own media, or a media that actually tells the story of, of black people for black people. Like you know, at least it doesn't. It's not a media that's because the other media is white media. It's 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 media that's designed to keep white advertisers happy. I don't have that. I have media that's designed to keep you satiated and full of the kind of knowledge you need. I'm actually still surprised that Google has not demonetized you. <laughs> I don't... Um, hold on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I haven't quite figured out how... Yeah, they haven't demonetized me? Yeah. Well, I'm still doing my thing, and I need you to go over to the funky... I'm banned on Facebook right now for another 20 days or so. So, because um, apparently posting historically accurate pictures is problematic, and yeah, I, I posted a picture, um, and they banned me. Anyway, uh, but it was like a picture of like 1944 America. Uh, so, anyway, if you want me to keep doing what I'm doing, go to thefunkyacademic.com, put down or kick down some money because these things cost. Everything costs. I pay rent and I, you know, I want to pay people and, and, and I'm growing and things are happening but things don't happen for free. Your thanks is great. Your thanks doesn't build coalitions like money does. So I'm going to need you to go share this video with all your friends since once again I'm not on Facebook. Share it to all your friends, all your family, in your church group, in your, in your leadership circle, if you're at a school, if you have a listserv and send it to your NAACP people. Send it to all your people and so you can discuss it and then have a discussion. Uh, thank you for your time, and I'll see you next week. Peace.